Hi, I'm John and this is the 8th update to my Commodore 64 OS project. I've been busy writing more on the Windows framework and is finally complete with the separation between tasks and windows. So I have a couple of things I want to demonstrate with regards to that. So let's jump into it. I've also been working a bit on a new game, which I want to demonstrate first. It took a long time to do this one. You know, all the graphics and music, fantastic music, and you know, and uh, the arrows to the knee. Uh, let's see when it's loaded. Oh, of course. Well. If anything, this demonstrates that uh, uh, a task can have a lot of windows. And these uh, windows are actually uh, instantiated dynamically on the heap when you load the, uh, the application. Uh, um, at the moment I have a limit of 16 windows total and 16 tasks total. But uh, those are uh, just settings. I can adjust that if I feel uh, I need more of them. Um, a window, an application uh, or a task uh, draws, uh, can draw to any window and it can switch uh, between these windows uh, by switching context. And uh, as you see, there is only one of these uh, windows that has a title down here on the taskbar. And that is because none of these windows have titles. If they had had titles, they would also be showing up here. So. Uh, I'm not sure whether the visibility of a window for the taskbar is perhaps something an application should itself control. Uh, I will look uh, some more into that maybe. Anyway, if you, uh, if you uh, close this application, uh, this means that you're ending this task and all of the windows related to it will be disposed. So that uh, means that uh, all the windows are going away uh, uh, without the application having to uh, worry about that. Uh, so this has uh, of course enabled me a couple of other things. I can now add context menus. So if you right click here now I can show a pop-up menu. And a pop-up menu is just like a normal menu but if you click somewhere then it loses focus and then it closes automatically. So that's uh, part of the point. It also closes automatically when you select something inside of it. So if I click this, it closes. Of course, uh, none of these are actually implemented because uh, I haven't had time to do that. But uh, these are some uh, uh, f features that I probably want to implement into the file manager when I start working more on that. Um, so another thing that I've uh, added is that uh, the taskbar can now show a context menu on the desktop. So at the moment it's just one thing that's called settings. And this is uh, in fact uh, just launching a file from the device from which the operating system was started from. So this one now assumes that it can find the settings application on this device. And it's inside this uh, folder here. So running this is the same as running there. So one thing you can uh, see here immediately <clears throat> is that the font is no longer a spinner control, but now a real uh, drop down combo box. And uh, the combo box uh, is also uh, implemented using the same f functions for like a, uh, a context menu. So selecting from this one will uh, then of course uh, install that font. So one thing that you will notice is that uh, the settings application isn't so big yet. It, um, <clears throat> Uh, as it was before, because uh, I no longer load all the fonts into this application anymore. So when the settings application is started, it actually checks the device from where the operating system was started, and for all the fonts, and then it enumerates these and creates this uh, drop-down dynamically from uh, that. 
So that means that you can um, easily add new fonts to the system if you want. But it also was a test to check how easy it was for me to have dynamic content into something like a drop down, which is uh, pretty important. And um, there's still a couple of things I want to do with it, but uh, I think it's uh, uh, good enough for now. <laughs> so if those who like thin fonts, there's a very thin one if you are, like that kind of style. <laughs> Uh, again, these are just 64 characters, so uh, very easy to draw in any character editor. Um, so, um, another thing that, of course, uh, the context menus enable me to do is uh, when I demonstrated the, the windows, these windows, they, you remember that these didn't have any close button here. Uh, I can't close them in any way. So now I can close them because of the uh, tasks application. Now you can see it has hovering. It shows over the task and you can right click this and end the task. So now, now it's possible to kill a task. So that's a very useful feature of course. So that's actually all I have to uh, uh, demonstrate this time. Um, it's been uh, <laughs> a lot of work to do the Windows uh, separation, but uh, it has paid off a lot because it enables me to do a lot of new things and uh, a couple of things that I've still in the pipeline is uh, will be much easier for me to do now uh, with the new. Uh, separation so and it also forms uh, uh, like um, a new pattern <laughs> actually in how I uh, treat um, uh, elements in the operating system like windows and tasks uh, you know, it's, it's looking more and more like a C program or uh, an object oriented thing now in, in this regard but um, I'm still trying to hold, keep the um, footprint as low as possible, but that's also something I need to uh, uh, be careful of and probably will discuss a bit in a, some future videos. Uh, but um, until then, um, I hope I'll see you um, maybe next week if I have something ready by then, but uh, at least uh, within a couple of weeks I will have something new to show. Okay. Bye-bye.